Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another monster video so in today's video I'll go ahead and show you guys every possible ways of getting the golden pumpkin and on top of that we're also going to check out the Halloween challenge so I'll go ahead and explain all of this throughout this video how you can get them and what it's used for because lots of you guys were actually asking me th this question on my live stream today so i wanted to make a video so i can go ahead and basically clear everything up and help you guys out so i hope you guys are excited if you are smash like button subscribe to the channel if you're just on anyways let's go ahead and get started all right guys so just a quick explanation on what this um pumpkin token is used for so basically if you head over to the chest shop here take a look at this right about here you have this corrupted monster chest so basically you can actually get this golden pumpkin and every time you get one you can go ahead and purchase yourself a corrupted monster chest and it only costs one for a corrupted monster so you just get a random corrupted monster and you guys know there are many of them so if we go ahead and do mythics not metropolitan but corrupted so you basically have a chance of getting any of these guys in here as you guys could see you have a chance of getting any of them. Uh, you might end up getting an Ingwe, which was a pay to win monster back then. Um, or you might end up getting a Skeletron, which is actually not that bad. I actually like that monster, it's just that I don't have it ranked up. Lord Nebatos. Then there is Blameria, Kenra, you know what I mean? Like, I know some players actually got Kenra on my Discord server. I saw some messages. And also, somebody got Pangaloyat, which is amazing. But the thing is, you might end up getting something really, really bad. Like, what if you get Tomska's Mind Turtle? Or what if you get in flux here, you know what I mean? So that's the thing. Um, or you might actually get families, which was actually a free monster. Um, so it's just random. You might end up getting something good or you might end up getting something that's really, really bad and outdated. Um, so one way of obtaining this token is actually right about here. If you just scroll towards the right side of the game, right, the section of the game, take a look at that. Golden pumpkin offer. You can actually purchase only one of them, it looks like, and it's gonna cost you $10. I'm not sure why they only have one out of one remaining purchase. I mean, what if somebody wants to purchase many? You know what I mean? You might as well just let them because that's how you make profit. I mean, what is social brain thinking, right? So, I don't know, but that's that. It's just, it is how it is, okay? But anyways, um, Golden Pumpkin, $10. You can get one of them, one of the tokens, and you can go ahead and use it in here. Um, so, it's really random. I don't really recommend purchasing it, honestly, because $10, I mean, you could... Go ahead and spend that $10 on an ice cream or something. I don't know. You could buy like multiple of them with some sprinkles or something on top. You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, but you can go ahead and, you know, get yourself that if you want. Uh, but it's only one. And here's the thing. That is not the only way of obtaining a golden pumpkin. If you actually head over to the dungeon here. So if you enter the dungeon and head over to the mythic dungeon. Is it mythic dungeon? No, no, no. It's actually in the era saga. So head over to the era saga. You will see Halloween 21, right? and go trick-or-treating with Heyman. <laughs> Who doesn't want to do that? So you enter it. Right now, you can't actually enter it. So if I try entering it, as you guys can see, it doesn't allow me. Uh, but it says coming soon on top. So it will be available very soon. It says available only during this season. So later on in the season, it will be available and you can actually enter it. And I'm sure you'll have to um, fight through the whole dungeon. I'm not sure how long it's going to be, but you got to fight through it and then you have a chance of getting golden pumpkin at the end. Well, actually it is guaranteed. It's going to be guaranteed. It's just that, um, I'm not sure how difficult it's going to be because you need to use one of the monsters, which is Heyman. And you guys know Heyman is not that insanely good. Um, so it's basically going to be a 2v3 against all of them. Um, unless you have like a 130 Heyman with like X runes and some insane relics. Sure. Now, in case you didn't know, it is actually kind of exclusive. Uh, so you have have to pair up Heyman with any monster that is in the Halloween 2021 book. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys who they are. So if we head over to the books, Halloween 2021, you can actually use, for example, Samuel the Disease Spreader. Then you have Nox. I wouldn't really recommend taking Nox with you because he is just okay. Uh, then you got Kane on the other side. The mice would be decent. Depends. Um, Skull Rivera. Then you have Countless Flawless Vampira. Heyman, of course. Heyman's going to be in it, so you have to use Heyman and then some other monsters on the side. But it looks like you could actually use uh, UV Fusion. So I'm sure many of you guys will be able to pick yourself UV Fusion later on in the season from the Battle Pass. Or, sorry, Legends Pass. And once you do so, you can go ahead and just run at full speed and you get to trade disable the enemy and stuff like that, basically, with UV Fusion. And then, um, yeah, it'll basically help you out. But it looks like Warmono is actually also in this. So anybody that's participating in team race, well, Warmanoid, yeah, you have Warmanoid on the on the other side. You know what I mean that you can use uh, Colonel Pip as well. So if you have Colonel Pip, 
I have a 150 Witch Cat, so I'm definitely going to use my 150 Witch Cat. Uh, then you got Raider. Skeletron is actually pretty good in case any of your monster dies, you can resurrect them. Tetsuman is a PP monster, so definitely get that and use it. So right now, the only monster that I really need to focus on getting is Raider. Because Tetsuman, UV Fusion, and Warmanoid, I'm definitely going to get throughout the season. It's just Raider. Because once you get that, you get 200 Tetsuman cells with 250 Nebulas, a Diamond Relic, and 40 Vault Keys. But the first page, you need all of this, basically. So, yeah. And then you can get yourself Halloween free chest as well. That's cool. Um, but, yeah, you can use basically any of these monsters in here that is mentioned. And it looks like there's going to be one monster. This hasn't been released yet, so they might reveal this later on. Uh, it could be like a sponsorship monster, one of the YouTubers. Another way of obtaining the Golden Pumpkin. Well, this is actually based on your luck. Think about it as like breeding a monster, right? You want to breed a mythic, right? Um, so, you have that low chance of obtaining the golden pumpkin but the thing is there's actually so many ads 100 maybe 200 ads i don't know but there's a lot of ads look at this so if you actually go ahead and watch all of them you might have a chance of obtaining it but the nice thing is that even if you don't obtain the golden pumpkin you still get yourself diamond relic you also get you know golden relics uh there's also bronze and silver so it's not that bad of a deal, you know what I mean? So you do have that chance of getting the gold pumpkin. Unfortunately, it's just loading for me. But every time you watch an ad, so far I've watched how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I've watched about 9 ads, so I'm going into my 10th one. And uh, so far, I've actually gotten quite a bit of, uh, which might call it? Let me just collect these. I've actually got quite a bit of um from those 9 relics. So I've got 17 bronze relics. I think I already had the silver relic for sure. The gold relic is also there and the diamond relics. So it's definitely going to help you out because you can go ahead and craft yourself obsidians or, you know, max them out if you have to, if you need it, you know. Uh, but yeah, watch it. It's literally worth it. it. It's worth it. I highly recommend watching that, guys. Okay, but let's check this out. I don't think this actually gives you anything that... Yeah, no, okay, it doesn't really give you. But if you head over to the news, guys, if you head over to the news, scroll down a little bit. Let me see. Uh, Golden Pass, Halloween is here. Okay, it should be somewhere around here. If we just keep scrolling. There it is. Find the Golden Pumpkin. Only true Halloween lovers will be able to find the Golden Pumpkins. There are very few of them. You can find one in the Halloween era saga or obtain another one from an offer. There are a few hidden in Monsterwood as well, but they'll be hard to find. That's the thing. That's what I told you guys earlier. Also, remember that when Maze Coins, Bounty Hunt Stamina, and Halloween Candy take over Monsterwood, the Golden Pumpkins won't be there at all. So it will disappear. So right now, you have to take advantage of this and watch as many ads as possible, basically. If you're lucky enough to get your hands on the Golden Pumpkin, you can take it to the shop and exchange it for a Corrupted Monster chest. And that is where you could get yourself a random Corrupted Monster, basically. I hope you guys got that, all right? Um, but yeah, I highly recommend just watching as many ads as possible in Monsterwood. I'm actually going to see if I could finish up the whole thing and I can watch them out. Uh, same thing I'm going to do with my BB account. I'm pretty sure I have Monsterwood unlocked on my BB account. Yeah, I'm, I do. Um, I can watch a lot of ads, hopefully all of them. It's just going to be a lot of ads though. <laughs> but I'll get through them and hopefully I'll be able to get myself a golden pumpkin. And soon maybe I can make a video on it if I get a couple of them, you know what I mean? And yeah, why not? That'd be cool. It'd be cool. Now, there's also this Halloween challenge, guys. So, aside from that, there's also Halloween challenge where you can get yourself Witch Cat, uh, Colonel Pip, which is actually a Metropolitan, not Metropolitan, Karota Monster, one of the first few that got released. It was in the Tales. And then you got Skeletron, which is a Karota Monster as well. But here's the thing. You're wondering, which one is really, really good? Okay, which one's really worth it? In my personal opinion, if you want to go for a monster that you need in your team that's going to help you out like resurrect and stuff like that skeletron would be best because you can resurrect it's really, in general it's just really good supporter uh, you know it's really really good especially in team wars and stuff as well then you have colonel pip which is not that bad but you can use it you can use colonel pip and witch cat in the Heyman arasaga dungeon where you can get yourself a golden pumpkin basically you know the golden pumpkin token so it's really up to you do you want to go for this do you want to go for Colonel Pip or Skeletron? Me personally, I'm going to go for Skeletron, even though it's really, really expensive. But the thing is, I also am thinking about going for maybe Witch Cat because uh, you get cells. Well, actually, not Witch Cat. No, what am I saying? Not Witch Cat. I already have a 150. But the thing is, you can actually have a chance of getting Heyman because Heyman is what you need in the Era Saga. 
for Heyman's Air Saga. So if you don't have Heyman yet, I highly recommend, um, you know, shuffling that and hopefully you'll be lucky enough to actually get yourself, you know, Heyman from this. And this is the only one with Heyman. These other ones don't include it. But me personally, I'm going to go for Skeletron. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Now, one thing you can do is you can find the main reward right now for 2000 gems, but why would you want to do that? I mean, unless you really want a monster on your side that can, I guess, have CDA skills and possession and stuff so you can get through the Heyman dungeon, sure. But you might as well just go ahead and give your luck a try here. So I'm going to continue watching this, guys, you know. Um, and also make sure you're in a team so you get yourself Wormanoid or you can use this and the Heyman Air Saga. So that could help you out. And I think that's about it because there aren't any other offers that I see for the Golden Pumpkin. That's the only one for about 10 bucks. Now you can make that less if you purchase it with Amazon coins. So it's up to you guys if you want to do it or not. All right. But anyways, so is the Golden Pumpkin really worth it? Not really. Don't spend your $10 once again on this unless you really want to. It's up to you guys. But I personally wouldn't recommend, okay? But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.